Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so very excited for today's video. In today's video, we are going to be reorganizing my bookshelf and doing a book on haul. I just haven't been feeling like that excited or like at least just like happy with the way that it looks. And I just feel like it's time to just like reorganize it. I don't want to like completely take off all the books, but I feel that it's time to just like change it up a little bit, maybe add some decor, or like definitely take some books off. Every single book that I have on my bookshelf, I want to get excited. I want to be like intrigued when I look at it. I also feel like there's some books on here. There's one specific series that I think I want to get rid of because I wasn't that crazy about it. And I feel like it's time to just like part ways with it since I wasn't that obsessed with it. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. I also did just put up these beautiful floating bookshelves and I recorded it for a video if you're interested in watching. But doing that has cleared up some space on my bookshelf. So doing that also has made me feel like, okay, I feel like it's time to just like change it up a bit. First things first, let's get rid of the books that just aren't exciting me. Like I just don't feel like having on my bookshelf anymore. I would have never believed you if you told me that I would be getting rid of books this year, but starting this year, I did it once and since then it's been easier to just get rid of books. There's something about like getting rid of books, you know, just letting someone else enjoy those books more than I did and just like clearing up space for more books. And currently I'm in a book buying ban, so it's not even that like I have a ton of books that I want to buy so I need room. I just am in the mood to get rid of books. So since I am in that mood, I'm going to run with it before it goes away. I think the first books that I'm going to get rid of is my entire Twilight series. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is, but I have just been feeling like getting rid of these. The first book I believe was like a four and a half star. Like I remember I really enjoyed it. And then from there it was like maybe two and a half, two, and then like one star. I just don't care to have these. And I love the movies, I do. But I just didn't care for the books. And I think maybe because my space is precious right now i just don't feel the need to hold on to these also another part of me is like maybe if i were to have like my dream library where i had like endless space then maybe i would keep them like i wouldn't care that it would take up the space but since right now i only have these two bookshelves like i want to use the space wisely if i rated these three books two stars two to one stars like why should i keep them like, I'm, I'm not going to reread them. Like, I don't see myself rereading them. And that's, like, another reason why I should just get rid of these. Okay, before I talk myself out of it, I'm going to put these over here so I can get rid of them. Insomnia. I almost got rid of this book last time that I did an unhaul. And now that it's marinated, now I've processed it, I just don't see myself reading this. I've had this for maybe three years now. And... I just don't feel like having it anymore. Okay, don't mind my squeaky floor. Okay, I'm going to keep these two. Um, I did DNF both. This is If It Bleeds and, and Pet Cemetery, but I feel like keeping both of them right now. And then we got the both Girls Guide to Murder series. These are all definitely books that make me excited, but the Road. I watched the movie like as a child, completely shook me to my core. If you don't know anything about this book, it is about the world ending and a father and son trying to survive. And it is brutal. It is insane. There's cannibalism, there's murder, there's just heartbreak. And I bought it because I liked the movie and I like watching movies about the world ending but yet again I've had this for probably two plus years and I I just know I'm not gonna read it and I almost unhauled this book last time too and now that it's sat again it's marinated a little bit I'm like yeah no a father and his son walk alone through burned America 
Nothing moves in their ravaged landscape save the ash on the wind. It is cold enough to crack stones, and when the snow falls, it is gray. The sky is dark. <sighs> I just don't feel like reading that. Okay, now to the third shelf here. Okay. I just can't help but do that. Okay. These all definitely make me happy. And that's just what I want when I look at my bookshelf. Okay, so as you can see, these are the last two shelves. Um, the only one that I'm kind of hesitant on is Almond. Like I, I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. And I'm kind of hesitant on just keeping it. I feel like if I'm hesitant, then I should get rid of it. Right before we start to reorganize my bookshelf, let me do a quick run through of all the books that I'm getting rid of. So the first book is Stephen King's Insomnia. Then we got Almond by Juan Pion Son. Then we got The Road by Cormac McCarthy. And then we got the entire Twilight series by Stephanie Mayer. This is sad. It like, like it doesn't make me happy to get rid of books, but you know, the aftermath and looking at my bookshelf, it does make me happy. So we're getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. Just saying like, okay, someone else is gonna enjoy them makes me feel a whole lot better. So let's start with reorganizing my bookshelf. I'm so freaking excited. without moving it. Rest in peace, Dobby. No way, he's literally his arm and his leg. It, the arm that was holding the sock. <laughs> oh my God, I dropped it again. Oh my God, I broke its other leg. <laughs> Legless Dobby. Can't believe I did that. Ay, 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 yericita, yericita, yericita. Honestly, I'm gonna get rid of this book. I did not like it. So it's been, well, let me make sure I don't got anything on my teeth. It has been a few days and I like when I change my bookshelves, I like to let it marinate for a couple days 
just to see if that's the way I'm gonna like it. So I ended the video like a few days ago and I was really stuck on a specific shelf. And to be honest, I'm still not really happy with the way that it looks, but I'm just gonna end up leaving it. Although with that being said, this isn't gonna stay like this forever, but this is how it's going to be for now. I like the way that turned out, so I'm excited to show you guys. I ended up displaying these beautiful covers and I really like it because then it ends up taking up the entire shelf. So this stayed the same with it being my dedicated Harry Potter shelf. Then I have this shelf. This is like my, my dystopian YA shelf slash like series that I have. And then over here, this majority stay the same. Oh, do not mind my cat playing in the background. But I did end up adding my inheritance series over here. So we got that shelf here. I love like the colors. I feel like they go together really well. And I love my little like crocheted mushrooms on the top. And then on this shelf, this one pretty much also stayed the same, but I got my cutesy little tulip um, pot right here. And then these are like, I believe these are also considered fantasy, but I got like my fantasy books here. I don't have that many. Slowly but surely this shelf will build up with my fantasy um, books. And then to this shelf, this one's probably one of my favorites. I ended up doing a rainbow shelf with like all of my romance books. I think these look super freaking cute. I recently got these, um, they're like dessert erasers. That's what they are. They're dessert erasers and they're so freaking adorable. So I decided to put them on my shelf. I think this shelf turned out really, really good. I really like the way that it all turned out. I think it's so pretty. Then I got the fourth shelf here. I got a couple of dessert erasers on there. And then I got this shelf. This one's probably one of my favorites as well. I got my cutesy little crocheted tulips. I also added my Ally Hazelwood books over here so that I have them all together. And then this one has probably been one of the hardest shelves to decorate. I don't know what it is about it. I feel like the colors just don't go well together, but I just decided to just like leave it like this. I ended up displaying Mary Jane because that is one of my favorite books. I read that last year, absolutely loved it. And then I have my Taylor Jenkins Reid books. And then I kind of went along with like historical fiction books. And then I got my Matt Haig books together. And then these are all kind of just like sad slash just like literary fiction books. I have like a couple memoirs here. And then I got my Colleen Hoover books. I was having a hard time figuring out where I wanted these books too, but I think they look fine just right there. And then to the last one, I ended up changing my hardcover shelf to be in a way like color coordinated. But that is the entire bookshelf. I absolutely love my bookshelf. I feel like this is like, no, this is my prized possessions. I adore my books so freaking much and I just love coming in here and just looking at all of them. It sounds so funny to say, but it's true. Like this, I love looking at that. It's so freaking beautiful. And then just a quick run through. Again, these are all the books that I'm getting rid of. I ended up adding All I Want for Christmas to the unhaul. That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so very much for being here. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.